Yeah, if I, if I go down there, I don't know how. I can see it right there. That's where that chest is. I don't know how to get to that. It's probably going to actually... I don't know. Is that going to lower whenever I uh, activate those those levers? I don't know. Is that going to, like, drain the lava or something like that? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, right? But there you go. Take on those guys. Nice. From a good, safe distance. Same with those guys. Boom, man. This COD crossbow. This is what I'm talking about. This thing is so fucking powerful, you guys. Man, especially when it's charged up 5 out of 5 right there. That's insane. So there you go. We have a, uh, another one right there. Boom. And we could probably just melee him down, honestly. Roll, roll right next to him. Boom. Killed him. Got him. Man. Yeah, I don't know if the lava actually drained. I don't know how to get down there. I could hear something. Something making noise over here. Is there a, uh... Oh, it's that. Hold on, hold on. So, boom, boom, boom. Void Strike should start doing a lot of damage right there. Then I have, a uh, Potion Barrier actually help him out ton in there as well. Nice. Whirlwind right there did some good damage to that blaze, but unfortunately my, uh, my, my... Whatever that is right there actually got, uh, overheated, which makes sense because I was literally standing in fire. <laughs> but whatever overheats, you can't actually use the, uh, the weapon, which really sucks, but at least it doesn't overheat quite as fast as the, uh, the regular version of it. So that's really good, I guess. Now, is the lava, is it... Did it lower? I don't know. I can still hear what sounds like, 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 like blazes, like blaze spawners. Whoa, hold on, hold on. We got another thing here. Hold on. What is that? Oh, just a regular skeleton. Yeah, I could take you on. Boom. And a few more of them right here. Yeah, not, not that big of a deal, but hey, at least I got a port shop right there. That's good. Potion barrier, as well as uh, just general potion heal me up right there. I'm not going to complain about that. We have luck of the sea built in. Uh, that's just an emerald chest. Yeah, whatever they're just sand or like iron chest, like I guess you could describe that as. Seems like that's just uh, just going to give you emeralds. And it does look like iron or uh, lava actually got drained over here, which is good. What else? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. We have uh, some enemies right here we need to watch out for. Take you on. Boom, took him down with Void Strike. You guys see how, that, how fast Void Strike kind of... Count it up, I guess you could describe that as. That was crazy good, you guys. Boom, boom, boom. Look, look at the Void Strike. Man! Can you not show me how much damage I do now? For some reason, the number of, uh, like, the actual number damage just doesn't show after a little while, which does not make any sense whatsoever, but boom. Use the Icon Crossbow to kind of take these guys on. Mark them right there. Boom! Good, did some great damage right there and actually killed them. That was amazing. Another COD crossbow right there. I wonder if there's a unique version of the COD crossbow. I hope so, because, man, that's going to be super, super powerful if we ever get one. Level 109 right here with infinity growing, which is pretty good, honestly. Radiant shot, which uh, makes more sense for melee, at least for single player. Refreshment, though, we have that built into uh, our armor. No, 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 built into that thing right there, which is pretty good. Hmm. Infinity. I'm like, this stuff we have right now, poison cloud piercing and weakening, Probably about as good as you can get, honestly. I'm like, it's only one level above what we have right now, so I don't think I need to switch over to it, honestly. So, yeah, then I'm going to keep what I have, but I do hear... Yep, another one right there. Boom, spin blade. I want to take him on. And then got him with a heckin... Uh, what was this thing called? Like a saw something. Saw blade something. There you go. Focus that thing down. Did some great damage, honestly. And uh, let's do some voice strike against a literal, like... I don't know, a building, an object, whatever you want to call that heckin' spawner right there. <laughs> There you go, take on those blazes. But yeah, look at that, there's like no lava anymore. I don't know why it drained. We must have done something. It must have drained whenever we uh, got rid of those, or activated those four levers, like I said, huh? Which is pretty interesting, because I came over here just to kind of clear out the area, but there's nothing else over here, which kind of sucks. Oh, wait, hold on, emeralds right there. Yeah, we still have 3,000 emeralds, which is insane. I really need to spend all these heckin' emeralds, you guys. There's another spawner up here, I do know that. Or... Yeah, 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 another spawn right there as well as... No, it's just regular blazes right there. Not that big of a deal, but... Boom, take you guys on. Let's get some potion barrier going. And, uh... Oh, man. See, look at that. It's overheated. I can't attack right now. Boom. And... There you go. Took it down right there and got the swirling, too. It seems like the swirling only happens, honestly. Whenever it, like... Like, overheats. It seems like that's the only time swirling actually activates. Which kind of sucks, because it takes a little... It takes longer for this thing to actually uh, overheat now. Because this is the unique version of it, right? Wait, no, I do see... Yeah, the lava's still here. Yeah, how do you get down there? What? Is there something... No. Nah. So you could... Oh, no, 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 do not get it in my heckin' wolf pet, fox pet. Ah, oh, man. I don't know how to get to that. There must be a way to lower the lava that I'm just not seeing. Unless it's, like, right up here. No, it's not... Oh, wait, hold on. That's nah, just... Yeah, it's just emeralds right there, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to lower the lava in here, you guys. Huh. Nothing's really making sense in terms of, like, lowering the lava and all that kind of stuff here, you guys. You know, there must be some sort of puzzle here that I'm just not figuring out. Or maybe potion barrier. I don't know. Do I just potion barrier my way into that? Yep. Ah, 57 to... I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Potion barrier way through. Okay, boom. Reinforced mail. Oh, man, I'm... Wait! It seems safe there! What?! That was still technically in lava?! Man! Well, at least I respawned there, but... I heckin' died, which sucks. Golly. 
the first life was a completely avoidable one, right? Where first death was a completely avoidable one right there. Man, now was that even worth it? Did we even get a better, uh, well, we did. Eh, it was one level higher than what we have right now. But the enchantments, acrobat, nah, nah, you know, not crazy about that. Rush, poison focus, I don't have anything that does poison, except for, I, I think, yeah, Denora, not that. The bow, yeah, uh, it, yeah, it does poison cloud, so I guess, I guess if anything, that would do more damage. 25% up to 75% more. Chilling, fire focus, and then reckless. <sighs> I, I don't, I don't like any of these enchantments, like any of them at all, except for maybe poison focus, but at the same time, I'm not crazy about that. Golly, that was not worth it at all. And I'm still at the very beginning. I still just need to get the heck of diamond key to continue on over here. Man. Ah, well, at least this is the end, right? Yeah, here we go. Open the diamond gate. Let's open up that as well. Boom. There you go. Let's get the key. Boom. There you go. And there's a uh, gold gate over there that we have to open up too. And a piece of bread went the other direction. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> okay. So where, where are all these enemies? I, I see them spawning in over there, but nothing this way. Yeah, nothing over there. Yeah, the gate is like right where? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I can probably get a bunch of them lined up for a spin blade here. Nah, not really. Some of them are a lot faster than the other ones, but yeah, I, I could just melee them all down. Yeah, there you go. Not that big of a deal. Maybe use a little bit of arrows on you. Lip, lip. There you go. And then melee you down too. Boom, got him. And then the uh, the heckin' key went away because I got attacked. So where's he at? Where'd he go? Oh man, a lot of enemies just spawned in right there. Golly. Where'd the key go? Is it up here? There he is. What are you doing? <laughs> Hold on, this is a pretty good choke point right here. I could use the spin blade against all these uh, pigs. Uh, there's only like two of them right there. I thought there were way more of them out, honestly, but whatever. Yeah, I could take you down. There you go, boom, boom. And then, uh, oh, oh, nice pork chop right there, but the heckin' key is getting away from me, unfortunately. Man, I'm gonna take you down. Boom, got him. Shadow right there, too. Hold on, where is he? Nah, whatever, I'll just take on these enemies. Boom. And you know what, you know what? Ah, man, yeah, the heckin' extra time, the extra uh, cooldown for the rolls. I could really feel it right there. I was trying to roll away. Oh man, a lot more, a lot of enemies just spawned in right there. Golly, spin blade right there. Killed a decent amount of uh, wither skeletons, but honestly should have killed more of them. Take the potion barrier right there, just because I know I'm going to kill a lot of enemies and get another uh, potion cooldown here in just a second. But boom, there you go. And we got the whirlwind right there too. There you go. And take you down. Nice. Is that it? More enemies? I think more of them are going to spawn in here, guys. Yep, a lot more of them. Eh, not that many of them, honestly, yeah. I thought there was going to be way more than that, but uh, whoop, there you go, spin blade right there. Got a lot of emeralds right there, honestly, which is kind of crazy. And we have a lot more of them right there. Hold on, hold on. Spin blade. Nice, killed those uh, ranged withers, which is really, really good. Let's get that pork chop, get some uh, regeneration back, kill that blaze. And we have uh, more ranged withers right there. There you go, again with the cog crossbow. Really good area of uh, cover right there with the poison cloud. That's really good. And I think we're going to spawn in even, yep, spawning in even more of them. Golly, spin blade time. Really great damage right there, you guys. You guys saw I killed like, I don't know, a half dozen of them? An actual dozen of them? I don't know. Get a potion barrier going right there, or just a potion in general, as well as potion barrier, as well as, because I know I'm going to kill even more enemies over here. Get the heckin' potion, uh, like, cooldown going down like one second every time I kill an enemy. Which we could actually upgrade if I got a level up or, you know, got to salvage some of the old armor or something like that, right? Any more enemy? Yep, here we go. Another. Man, there's a lot of waves of enemies here. Golly! We can take you down. There you go, take you down as well. Take you down, I can just aggro a little bit of amount of time, get a pork chop right there too. Ah, oh, that didn't get anything right there, golly. There you go, get you guys with the uh, cog crossbow, nice. Might want to keep my distance, honestly. There we go, around this corner, there you go. Get him into this heckin' choke point right here. Boom, boom, around this corner, get that pork chop, get a little bit of regeneration back, and melee you, and melee you. Got him, nice. Anything else around here, yep. A few more wither skeletons, just melee ones, yeah. Yeah, just melee ones, so. Whoops, that was the wrong button. Man, I just wasted some souls. Ah, I have a lot of them anyways, I need to use them up. I do have a potion barrier ready to go, though, so. Any more of them going to spawn in here, or is that it? Nope, yep, more of them. Golly, that's a lot of them. Let's get potion barrier going, get spin blade going right there, though. Golly, that was good. Killed like four or five ranged skeletons right there to kill these uh, flame, or uh, blazes right there, too. And, actually, hold on. I, I bet you could lower the lava, and it lowers it for the whole level, and then you go back, and that's how you get to that chest. Yeah, or, you know, you get to that chest safely, that is. <laughs> this is probably the end of it, right? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I, I feel like there's going to be more stuff they would have spawned in by now, yeah. So let's go back up here. Let's go grab the key. Go back down there. Oh, wait, no, this is the last reason why, because there's a heckin' blaze up here this whole time. That's probably not no spawn in, right? Actually, hold on. Do we have, a, we have a really good vantage point up here? We can actually snipe things down. Yeah, 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 look at this. Nah, the yeah, see there's this barrier in the way right here. Man! Golly, let's heal up. There you go. Heal up, get some potion barrier going, and then hopefully get a lot of uh, enemies over here lined up. Boom. So we can get them with the spin blade, or maybe get them with the, uh, the, that lightning rod, or whatever that is. Boom! Decent amount of damage from the spin blade right there. That's, that's honestly pretty heckin' good. 
But at the same time, need to kill more of them here. Hold on, spin blade again. And we got the key right there. Hold on. He's running, look at him running away. I need to run away too. Get, get on my back there, little key friend. And hold on. Oh, what? I died. I died from the withering? I think I did. Man, that sucks. Ah, oh, man, I didn't mean to. Ah, wasted lightning right there. Golly, I died twice already. That really stings. There you go, get a TNT. And there you go, throw that right there. That, that should be fine. Get away from them, get away from them. And that ex actually exploded. And the, the, with the key on the back of that wither skeleton, it looked like it there for a second, you guys. <laughs> get on me, what are you doing? Why am I attacking the key? Get on me, why is he not on me? I don't know why. Man. That must, I don't know. What, what up? Why is he not getting on? Yeah, there you go. I don't know why I wanted to get on my back a minute ago, but there's just endless enemies right here. I, I bet the enemies are just spawning in endlessly because I need to open up the gate between like waves of enemies here. I bet, I bet that's what's happening, huh? Hold on. So if I, if I, if I kill all but like one enemy over here, I'm probably getting comments about it. There you go. That, that was actually pretty heckin' good. We'll get another spin blade here in just a second. Ah, oh, man. At least I'm kind of funneling him in at one at a time. But boom, there you go. Another spin blade right there. Then just purposely leave like one skeleton or something like that here in just a sec. Then uh, melee these two down. Yeah, boom, boom. Yeah, let me let me go let me go get the key now. I bet this is how you stop it. I bet it's just going to constantly spawn in enemies until you go down there with the key and open up the gate. That's probably what you have to do, huh? Man, I bet there's like a billion gates you have to heck and open over here, right? Golly, that's going to suck if I have to do this. I am not. I am actually not ready for like an unironic like three hour long recording session guys let's roll let's roll let's roll no man you're getting away from me. he's killing the key man get the key back there you go still this guy right here though hold on hold on no the key's still running away man there you go uh i don't like him being ranged golly uh, I, guess, I guess i guess i can kill him there you go good i could roll get a shot but that's actually going to help out a little bit and then now we can open it up there we go yeah there we go are they done spawning things in now i bet so right yeah, I think we finally, finally figured it out. Golly. Now we have to find- Oh, what the- A bunch of enchanted heckin' whatever's right there. Nice, see, that's what I'm talking about. Actually goes through the wall, and we can mark him right there. Boom, did a huge lightning strike and killed all of them immediately. That was so good, you guys. Man, that's what I'm talking about. That thing is so underrated. That's why we need to keep using it, you guys. It's insane. <laughs> Anything else over here? Yeah, it's just more enemies over here, I guess. Yep, 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 boom. And just melee these guys down, boom, boom. And uh, another one right here, ranged. Boom, got him. Let's get a potion barrier and uh, open up that chest, get a little bit of emeralds. And uh, continues on over here, huh? Yeah. Got a uh, spawner over here with some blazes, which we could easily take on. We can could, we could lightning strike it, actually. Boom. There you go. And use the, uh, the saw blade for the rest of it. And it's down immediately. Just like one blaze down here, but we can take him down, no problem. Am I even attacking him right there? I don't think I am. Yeah, he's like below me. Or you can see him. There he is. Yeah, I got him. That's good. Nice. I don't think there's anything else over here, though, but uh, at least I was able to kill the, uh, the blaze spawners. That's good. I guess we'll keep going this way and I have to get the heckin' golden key next. Which I don't know how many more there's going to be. There's diamond key one that we just did. There's golden key one. Is that it? I don't know. Is more stuff going to spawn in here or what? I bet we, yeah, we have to go into there. Yeah, find the golden key. So let's go in. Got the potion uh, ready to go. Yep. What else is here? Oh my gosh, this is huge. Just like the diamond one. The diamond key dungeon. I guess he described it as, huh? Nice, killed some good uh, skeletons right there. Take him down. Boom, got him. That actually was a piercing right there, too. That's great. And kill that skeleton with the, uh, the, the, the poison cloud. That's really good, too, you guys. Does this take me, uh, where does this take me? Oh, there's a, there's, hold on. I'm probably getting comps. There's a, like a dungeon within a dungeon, uh, in the other area, too. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take this guy down, melee him down. Spin blade this way. There you go. Not bad. Heal up with the potion barrier there. And, uh, just general, just potion, too. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get the uh, lightning thing right there. Did some great damage to the spawner. Oh, let's try and take it down. Boom, there you go. Spin blade again. Ah, let's let's get him with a ranged, uh, get him with a bow. There you go, there you go, not bad. Spin blade's almost ready to go again. There you go, not bad. And let's get the port shop, get a little bit of regeneration back. Mark that down with a uh, lightning strike too. That's going to be great. Spin blade too, get the potion too. Or uh, strength, whatever that is. Golly, hold on. There you go, use soul healing right there. Get rid of that spawner. Golly, there's so much going on right now. Get rid of that heckin' blaze too. Boom, boom. Nice. Golly, heal up too. Get uh, some good loot from that. Hunting bow with a green arrow. Love seeing that. Love seeing that. Anything else around here, though? That might be it for this layer. This might just be like an above or a uh, below layer or something like that, huh? Yeah, there's nothing else over here. Just a bunch of emeralds. Yeah, I kind of want to backtrack, honestly, to that diamond uh, location. See what else that might have been in that other... Because I saw that near the entrance. Hold on, where is this? Yeah, I, I, I can kind of backtrack over here just a little bit, I suppose, huh? Or, you know what? 
It seems like there's going to be a battle arena or something like that over here. I kind of want to throw this TNT and actually use it. So where is this? Oh, yeah, wow. Look at all those heckin' enemies right there. Boom, get him with a spin blade too. Keep him back. Boom, big explosion there. Kill this with a skeleton. Nice. There's a spawner right there. Hold on. Mark that with the uh, lightning strike. Get those guys with the arrows. Good damage. Good damage. And spin blade right there too. Good. Not bad. Let's get a uh, potion barrier right there. Roll into battle with only 10% damage that we're taking. And take down that spawner. Nice. Got it. And you spin blade against all these guys. Oh, we're above them, so it's not working. Man, that sucks. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take him down. There you go, because he's doing a lot of damage. And these guys are, uh... Oh, they're still... Wait, no, he's on my level. There you go. Got him, got him. Not bad. There's more stuff over there. Yeah, there's another... Hold on. Can I mark that all the way over here? I can! Wow, that's really good. Holy heck. And take you down. And take you down, too. Not bad. Okay, good. And start getting you guys with the, uh, the bow right there, doing some great damage, weakened, and a uh, potion or a poison uh, cloud or whatever that is. That's really good damage. Take down that blaze if we can. Kind of want to get that port chop, but uh, he's about to... Yep, he attacked me right there. Let's get that port chop. There you go. Not bad. Still waiting on that cooldown. There you go. And we did some great damage to that. Let's do another one right there. Let's go and take care of it. Oh, no, it didn't. Man, there's still another one that spawned in there, too. <laughs> that was crazy. Man, the thing is so resilient. A lot more resilient than I was expecting. But, uh, I don't know, should I continue backtracking? I honestly kind of want to. Because look at how much bigger this area is. It just keeps going on and on and on. Golly. Kind of want to backtrack before heck and forget about it. But there you go. Take him down. Boom. Got him. Nice. There's another spawn right there. Golly, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. This is insane. Hey, anyway, take it down. Take it down before more stuff spawns in. Boom. Wow, I thought someone was going to spawn in right there, but no. Nice. Actually took it down before anything else spawned in. And anything else here? Yep, another spawner. Golly, I, I, I'm just going to be using this thing exclusively to take out these spawners. <laughs> Man, there you go. Yeah, another one spawned in right there, but uh, another one I could take down? No. Thought I could. Looked like there could be one there, but no. All right, well, I think I'm going to backtrack a little bit like I've been trying to do. Let's go back. Go back to that diamond uh, key area. Because there was another dungeon entrance or whatever, which might be a, a bonus area. Yeah, see, if I go here, into here, it's like right next to the entrance. You guys might have, been, might have seen it, too. Yeah, see, like, right there, if I go back, if I go back here, this isn't going to take us to the key, it's going to take us to a bonus area, yeah. And I, I know I purposely avoided it, because I was trying to clear out a bunch of stuff, but... Yeah, see, it looks looks like it takes us to a bu nice bonus area. Oh, hold on. There's a chest in here, too. Hey! Oh, a lot of enemies, too! They kind of baited us in here. Spin blade time! Get some uh, swiftness right there, not bad. Let's get a, uh, hold on, get that port shot. I'm definitely going to need that. Spin blade, get that rakes, because we have a lot of them lined up. There you go, nice. Get those ranged ones, took those down. Let's get these uh, melee, get the potion barrier going here in just a sec as well. Get a shadow brute, take down, what do I want to take down? Let's take down those right there, not bad. Spin blade right there. Should probably, uh, there you go. Mark that one for an explosion. Get away from all these guys. Soul healing, soul healing, not bad. A lot of, uh, heckin' whatever you want to call that right there. Crossfire, I guess you just grab this. Golly. <laughs> There's so much going on inside of there, you guys. Golly. Where am I at right now? Oh, I see where I am. Okay, okay. Well, we almost have another potion barrier ready to go. <laughs> or just a potion in general. I don't know if I want to spend any more souls real quick, because we're almost ready to go for a potion, so... Hold on. Come on, come on. Man, if I get in there, is going to be like 10 skeletons ready for me. Hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. Oh, surprisingly not. Okay, pick him down with a bow. Pick him down, too. Not bad. Yeah, we, we definitely still have uh, blazes over here. Yep. And a lot of them. Golly. Ah, uh, didn't take him down at all. Let's get a potion barrier going, though. And, uh, spin blade against all that, too. Did a little bit of damage. Could definitely do more. There we go. Take, focus down on that one. Okay, one of, one of the blaze spawners is down. That's good. That's good. There we go. Mate, or, uh, get him down with, uh, our bow. That's good. Weaken right there. And we got another, uh, armor right there with a green arrow, which is actually pretty good. There we go. Take him down. We still have that spawner, so there we go. Mark it down for another explosion. Did some great damage. Get some soul healing, honestly. That's going to make sense. And then, uh, I, I guess we just roll in. And melee it down, the rest of it. Boom, there you go. Yeah, two more blazes spawned in, but there you go. At least I was able to take it down there. Golly. Two blaze spawners right next to each other. Man, that's tough to take care of. <laughs> but at least we got two chests right there full of some loot. I do want to look at the big map, though. How many? We, we actually have all the chests. That's actually surprising. I bet that number's going to continue going up, though. It's going to be like 9 out of 9, 10 out of 10 here in just a second. If we ever find any more chests. But outside of battle, yeah, definitely want to get a heal. Uh, so the cooldown continues on. And uh, we're going to go to the other location now, so... Yeah, at least, at least I went back, because there was two chests I missed out on right there, as well as another uh, armor, which is actually higher level than the one we uh, had just right there. Only two enchantments, though. I, I hate that. Life boost, I love that. Surprise gift, that's pretty good, too, but I wish we had Potion Baron alongside that. That'd be really good, too. I'd definitely switch over to it if that was the case, but our current armor with Leg of the Sea, Potion Barrier, Life Boost built in, yeah. This day, even though it has less health, by almost 1,500, golly. Goes up by six levels and it gains 1,600 heck, uh, 1,500 heck in health. Man, 
has like the sea, has potion barrier, has life boost built built in. I don't think I'm gonna switch over to it. Like I said, if that one over there had a uh, whatever, whatever I was talking about, <laughs> then I, I guess I'd switch over to it. But yeah, it only has two enchantment slots, which really sucks. But let's go over here. Let's continue going this way. I guess if anything, I could. Uh, yeah, you definitely do have to lower the lava somewhere. Unless you do have to, like, potion barrier away through all the lava like I did with that chest. But I doubt you have to actually do that. But there's the key right there, obviously. I have to go through all the heckin' trials and tribulations over here first to actually gain access to it, which is such a huge dungeon area. Like, look at this area. It's huge. At least we covered that uh, extra dungeon area over there, which is good. As well as, like, pretty much all this. And there's, like, non-stop heckin' uh, spawners and stuff like that over here, too. So... Definitely keep our eyes peeled for that kind of stuff, yeah. Regular skeleton right there, regular skeleton there. Yeah, I can take I can take these guys on no problem, melee. There you go. And take you on too and get a port shot for some regens. And hey, another one right there, broken saw blade, but uh, it, it's not the unique version. We have the unique version, so I'm not going to downgrade that, honestly. Let's go this way because it is a dead end. We take care of a few enemies there. Not bad. That was actually pretty good right there. I was able to, like, hit multiple uh, skeletons with one shot. It must have been piercing or something like that that kicked in, huh? That was pretty good. Let's see, what, what's going to spawn in? Just regular skeletons? Yeah, let's get swiftness. That's actually going to help out quite a bit. So I can be a little bit more agile, walk around, roll around to other locations. Same thing here. Wow. Okay, just a small little uh, bit of enemies you have to take on here. I thought it'd be a lot more. A little, little gauntlet of enemies, I guess you could say. Yeah, not even a gauntlet. It's just like literally three skeletons. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. There's a chest right there. I bet it's nine out of nine. No, nine out of ten. Oh, I, I bet the tenth one is over here. I bet it spawned over here too, huh? But that's where the tenth one is. Yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, you can see it. See, that number just keeps going up and up and up. Which kind of makes me think I'm, like, towards the end of the level, but it's, I don't know, maybe after the gold dungeon, or, uh, gold, gold key, maybe that's the end of the level? I don't know. Because going through the gold, the diamond dun dungeon key stuff, <laughs> and then now the gold one, I'm like, that makes sense for, like, a huge hour-long, maybe two-hour-long heckin' level, honestly, just on its own. There you go, yeah, I'll just melee that on its own. There you go, take it down, especially because I had strength. Don't know why I forgot I had strength there, but I was able to take that down pretty easily, I'd say. Not bragging. Let's continue going on this way, though. Unfortunately, can't go down this way too fast because, uh, oh, 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 wow, a lot of things right there. Wow, hold on, there you go. Big explosion ready to go. Big, huge explosion. Spin blade kill you guys. And almost got him on the return right there. And still doing some great damage. Took down one, one enchanted uh, wither skeleton right there with our heckin' bow. Charging up, uh, ready to go five out of five on the next uh, set. So that's really good there, you guys. Spin blade right there. There you go. Man, it went the wrong way. Man, that really sucks. Man, a big poison cloud area right there. That's actually really, really good, you guys. Not bad. Let's get a, uh, you marked right there for a big explosion. You actually killed him with that one shot. That's really good. Again, with the spin blade and another one on the return. And got him right there. Nice. Mace ready to go. Golly, this is good stuff here, you guys. Man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, more enchanted things. That's what I was talking about. I kind of just sense when there's a bunch of enchanted enemies up ahead, huh? That's good, that's good. Take them down. And Spin Blade is... I guess I can just melee him. Yeah, boom. Spin Blade again, too. And there you go. Got him on the return, too. Take him down. Get a pork chop. Get a little bit of regeneration. Might take him down with it. Yep, get him with a bow. Get him with some weakening and some poison cloud. And melee him down for the rest of it. Nice. Man, we're doing... I don't mean to brag, you guys know me, <laughs> but we're doing really well right now, honestly. Oh, strength, that's so good. There you take all those guys down, get them with the heckin' TNT over there. They're nice and uh, stuck on that corner. Big explosion there, that did so well, but we do have a uh, enchanted guy right here. Let's get a potion bearer, took him down, let's get a spin blade right there. Honestly, could have angled that a little bit better, but uh, there you go, melee these guys down. Yeah, I can melee him down, no problem. There you go, mark him. Boom, got him right there, not bad. And, uh, man, I'm going soul heal right there. Kind of sucks that I had to do that, but uh, kind of have to do what you have to do when you're out of cooldown for the potion. There you go. Nice port shot for the healing uh, us up, too. Really good. We got a green arrow hunting bow out, uh, as well. Golly. All over the place whenever I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Especially whenever I'm trying to talk way too fast. Just like that. I don't know if you guys know this. But either way, got to go down this way. A lot more uh, dead ends and stuff like that to take care of. Oh, oh. Kind of try and bait out their shots. There's actually a skeleton up there we missed out on. Boom! Got him right there. Not bad. And took him down, too. Hey, he didn't drop anything. We do have a blaze right here we can take on. No problem. Oh, boom. Did he teleport to me or spawn next to me or something like that? Kind of, ha kind of have that feeling. I feel like just a few skeletons here, huh? No, we're just one. No, no, no. no. Here, here we go. Two more. Boom, boom. And, yeah, it's literally just three of them. Yeah, I don't know why there's so few skeletons you have to take on right there. It's like they're not really guarding anything. <laughs> a, we're getting a lot of uh, loot, a lot of emeralds uh, in this level, by the way, which is insane. Like, every every direction we go in, like, every extremity, I guess, to describe it as over here, <laughs> has a, uh, like, like, like a trap, I guess, to describe it as, with emeralds hidden behind it, which is really, really good. I'm not complaining about it, because, hey, we can just spend more of those emeralds once we get back home. And, by the way, we have to kill, like, what, four more, like, strong enemies or whatever to unlock another uh, slot on the luxury or uh, whatever his name is, merchant? 
I don't know if we've actually killed them already or, or what. I don't know. I, I kind of want to check, but there you go. Mark that guy with a lightning strike. That was really good. Getting with the spin blade, too. Did some great damage as well as getting with the, uh, the bow right there. Not bad. Might want to heal up. Maybe mark him again. Yeah, there you go. Mark him again. There you go. Not bad. Getting with the spin blade. I actually killed one of them right there, too. Nice. Let's heal up with the uh, potion barrier and take him down melee because there's no other way I could take him on. Man. Look at him. He's still resilient. He's still going. And Spin Blade got him in the end. We got a level up as well. Great stuff. I don't know if we can actually apply that to anything right now. Because everything is so highly upgraded already. But boom. There you go. Spin Blade those guys down. Yeah, the Spin Blade, you do not want to sleep on the heckin' Spin Blade, you guys. Like, you guys have seen how much I'm using it. I've been using it for like three or so episodes now, like straight. Eh, there was like one or two episodes actually where I didn't use it. I switched it out for something else. But you guys know what I mean. Super duper good. Actually, this is probably like the second episode of the second Nether Fortress uh, map, by the way, so, I don't know, maybe it was two or three episodes or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> but either way, just have to take on, like, three more skeletons right here. Huh? Oh, it's going to be easy peasy, no problem. And they're melee ones, too, like, they're not even, like, the good ones that do, uh, like, like a ton of damage. Like, the ones with the bow, I feel like those are a lot more powerful. But at the same time, the melee ones are a lot faster, so they can kind of, like, catch up to you, even though we are uh, trying to roll away and whatnot, but we're a lot slower with this, because we have 100% uh, heckin' uh, cooldown, extra cooldown on our rolls, which really sucks, but at least we're covering all the corners over here, right? Seems like we just have to go this way a little bit more, and there's going to be like one more area, which looks like it's going to have another spawner for a blaze, as well as like a big like arena area here too. Yeah, look at this. What is this? This has got to have a blaze spawner up here, huh? Oh wait, no, it's another one of these things. It's kind of going do a gauntlet here, so get some high ground up here and get some good advantage area. Nice, not bad. Let's get some potion barrier going right there, especially because we're going to be taking on a lot of enemies. We're going to get that potion barrier a little bit quicker. There you go, Shadow Brew. Use that to our advantage. Uh, oh, nice. More of them spawned in. There you go. Spin Blade right there. Boom. Take them down. And I don't know. What do I want to do? Let's just stay invisible, I guess, for right now. Then we can have them all funnel up here, huh? There you go. Spin Blade, you guys, all the way down there. That's good. And you know what? There you go. Melee you. And then same thing here. There you go. Yeah, we have a really good position right now, you guys. It's insane. Yeah, look at that. I could hit them, but they can't hit me for some strange reason. I'm not complaining. <laughs> there you go. Heal up. We almost have another potion ready to go. Kind of want to keep my... Uh Stay, keep my distance. Stay nice and safe. There we go. Got a potion right there. Let's get our uh, arrows. Let's go over here. Maybe get a spin blade on these guys. And uh, it was just one. Yeah, it was just one of them right there. Man. But hey, at least we survived. We got another chest. We got some loot. I don't know what else is behind there, but we got another reinforced male with a green arrow. So I love seeing that. Yep, it is another spot. I see. I knew it. I heckin' knew it. I spotted it from a mile away. And it's down with only one blaze spawned in. So that's good. A lot of emeralds right now, too. I don't know how many emeralds we're actually getting from these sets over here. It seems like maybe about 100 each, which eh, it adds up. It adds up, which is still pretty good. There's another big, like, arena gauntlet area here. So we definitely want to watch out for this. Just a regular melee guy right here. Yep. And then, uh, I don't know, we could take on all those skeletons right there with our cog crossbows. So good. Nice and weakened. Take them down basically in one shot. Let's get our uh, healings going. Get a port shop going as well here. What else do we have around here? Nice staircase right here. Definitely want to stay up on the high ground so we have a good advantageous position for anything else we're going to come across. Huge area just got affected by the weakness and poison right there, too. It's got that uh, TNT thrown over there by those enemies, and uh, they're going to get exploded. Nice explosion on them. Roll towards them. Let's get a soul heal right there because I kind of need it. Ah, let's take him down uh, range. There you go. Nice. Did a pretty good job against all those right there. Not bad. I thought there'd be something right here, but no. And there seems like there's another bonus area over here. Probably have to kill like three skeletons, I bet. Watch. No, no, it's a spawner. I, I was proven wrong. There you go. Take that down. Melee down the rest of it. And let's heal up, too. Let's get a potion barrier and take down these blazes. Just because we're on fire right now, too. But there you go. We're at 3880. Getting all those. We got about, uh, eh, about 30 or so. 30 or 40 or so right there. Not bad in terms of emeralds. So, and like I said, it adds up. I thought we got a little bit more than that, but no. But there's a lot of uh, lava over here. Surely there's a, a section where you, like, drain the lava, right? That, that, that only makes sense. Oh, spin blade on these guys, good. Yeah, see, look at that. There's like a staircase that goes down, but it goes into lava, so... <laughs> There's gotta be like levers, something you have to kind of... Oh, here we go, here we go. Is that something up there? Oh, wait, yeah, look at this. There's like like cog wheels. What, what do you have to do here? Hold on. Open the floodgates. No, wait, hold on. That actually sounds bad. Why do I want to open the floodgates? Don't you want to close them? Or maybe is this draining the lava? Yeah, look at that. It's, it's something, something's working right there. Nice spin blade against all those skeletons. Man, that was good. There was a blaze right there. Take him down. That's good. Hold on. Is that drained? It is. Yeah, look at that. All the, all, the, all the lava's gone. Wait, no. It just went down a little bit. Hold on. I bet, I bet I have to drain a little bit more, huh? And then here's a bridge right here we have to activate as well. Probably whenever we defeat all the enemies. Okay, interesting. Okay, so that one's activated. But to activate another one over there, but I was kind of a... Uh, I kind of want to go to... Maybe the... Uh, yeah, take this guy down. Boom. Melee him down. Boom. 
But yeah, look at that. It drained, it drained it a little bit right here, which is good. Because remember, this was actually submerged under lava just a second ago. So that's good that we're actually able to go across that now. There you go. Get a nice spin blade across all those guys. Get a pork chop and a strength potion. That was really good. Get another one, too. There, just because it doesn't last too long. It only lasts like eight seconds or something like that, right? So there you go. Doing some great damage right there. And a lot of enemies right here for a spin blade. Great damage. You couldn't even see it. It was like glitched through the map right there, you guys. That was insane. <laughs> there, take these guys on, especially because we have strength right now. And activate this one right here. This is going to hopefully drain the rest of it, too. There you go. Open the gold gate now is our objective again. So is that going to continue uh, lowering or no, that just oh, that just lowered down the bridge. OK, so one of them lowered down the uh, lava, which I hope lowered in the main area, too. There you go. I'll take these guys down, at least weaken them and uh, give them a little bit of a uh, poison cloud and all that kind of stuff. We have another spawner over here, it sounds like, too. We need to watch out for us. Let's uh, definitely mark that. There you go. Start mailing it down as well. And it is down because we have strength. Boom. Man, that went down so fast. <laughs> Golly. All right. Well, at least that bridge is open now. So let's continue this away. Go across the bridge. Go out to the golden area. And now we know that we need to kind of hurry whenever we grab the key to open up the heckin' gate. So let's, let's go do that because otherwise it's just going to be endless, like, pools of enemies, uh, whatever you want to call it, of enemies spawning in constantly, right? Yeah, see, look at that. That actually got drained over there, which is really good. So that's that's now unlocked right now. That's really good. Now we have a lot of enemies over here, I bet. Where are they at? There they are. There they are. Look at all those enemies. Look at that. And we have the heckin' gold key right here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We have a lot of stuff going on right now. Holy heck. Let's get that going. Let's get the heckin' pork chop going. Let's get another spin blade going. Boom! Where's that key at? There he is. Get back your key. What are you doing? Get back here. What are you doing? Man, it's almost safe. It's almost safe for us. Get back with me. Man, I'm pushing him back. <laughs> Look at that. I'm pushing him back. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, all right, well, I have to go get him here in just a sec, but I need to make sure I kill like everything except for like one thing, which is that one singular skill. Hold on, there's another one actually behind me, so. There you go. Let me, let me go see if I can grab the, uh, the, the key now. Now he's going to go up to that perch. Man, it really sucks. I don't know why he's so determined to go back there, but. At least it's a little bit safer right now, which is good. So uh, let's grab you again. There we go. We finally got him back. I don't know why he like glitches out like that, but whatever. Uh, but let's continue this way. I don't know. It, it doesn't look like there's another area you have to kind of go to. Like after this, like like another key gate to open up. Seems like it's just a regular, like just do the rest of the level like normally. Yeah, there you go. So that's opened up now. New objective is to open up the gate. Whoa, what is this? Some guy with a bunch of shields around him. Now I have to open up this gate, which is just these two, huh? There you go. Boom. I assume. Oh, it's just a bunch of enemies, or is there a mini boss? What what's happening? Whoa! Whoa, those are flamethrowers. Those are flamethrowers with some blazes. Hold on, boom! Take down these blazes. Take them down with uh, ranged. Here, thankfully we have a. Oh man, we don't have that many arrows. I thought we had a little bit more. There we go. Shadow boot to kind of heal or uh, hide us a little bit. There you go. Use that to uh, kind of spin blade them down. Oh, nice a arrow bundle right there. That's really really good. That's good. That's good. Stay away from these flamethrower things though. There you go. Take him down. And uh, hold on, hold on. Spin blade against all those. Ah, oh, man, they moved out of the way of the spin blades return. Golly. All right, well, eh, no more arrows right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, let's roll towards you, get away, and spin blade towards them. Good, we took down like three or four of them right there. That's great. Let's grab those arrows all the way over there, too. Get away from that. Thankfully, there's like no flamethrowers on this side, so that's really, really good, you guys. And you know what? Kind of want to get a potion barrier. Boom. Let's get that going. Get us nice and healed up, as well as uh, only take 10% damage for a little while, especially with all this fire around us and flamethrowers and all that kind of stuff, right? Boom. Is that it? Yep, yeah, boom. Exit the fortress. We're good. We, conti we can continue on now. That's great. Is this the end? It is. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, just like I said, after those two gates, that's it. Is there any other enemies, any other loot, anything else around here? Kind of want to check. Hold on. How, how, how are we doing chest? What? 13 out of 13? No secrets? We're doing really well on this level, you guys. What do we have to kill? Like three skeletons here? I bet so, huh? Seems like that's like the thing. Yeah, see, look at it. Just one skeleton. Ah, two and three. Ah, there you go. And then give me the loot. Give me that extra chest. 14 out of 14. More emeralds. We're almost at uh, 4,000. Yep, we're over 4,000 now. So there you go. And uh, up here, how do, how do you get up to that? I think you can get up to there, yeah. I don't know why it like shows that there's something up there, but I guess I guess you can't actually get up to there. Okay, but uh, there is. Yeah, how do you get to that other like this bit? You guys see that too, right? How do you get all the way out to there? Yeah, look at all that area over there. How do you get out to that? Hold on, is there more? Did more stuff like open up this way? That I was like not aware of. Hold on, is there more stuff over here I have to watch out for? I don't think so. But at least it seems like we finished the level, like, successfully with, uh, two lives remaining. Like, we have one life right now, and then, of course, the final life after that. There's still that skeleton right there. Kind of want to kill him on the return, just in case he's, like, the last enemy. 
and we can get a hundred or a hundred out of a hundred or whatever, right? That'd be really good. Yeah, what is all? How, how do you get a? I don't know. I guess there isn't a way to get up to the, all that stuff. Because it looks like there is a way, but it. Huh. I don't know. Very confused. Like, there's so much, like, more area up there where it looks like stuff is going on, but there's nothing there. So, anyways, I guess I'll just kill the skeleton and we'll be on our merry way. Blip, blip. And there you go. He's dead. Anything else over here, by the way? Any other skeletons? Any other uh, enemies just hanging out? I don't think so. I think we're good to go, you guys. Nice. So, there you go. Another fortress has been uh, drained of all this lava. And speaking of draining, God, yeah, I'm not seeing any other. Like, there's no staircases. There's no, like, platforms to kind of parkour downwards to. Yeah, I don't know what all that is. It must be like a weird like thing whenever the map kind of loaded in because this is like a procedurally generated map, right? So anyways, that's it. 14 out of 14. Yep, 14 out of 14. I guess that's about as good as we can get here. Victory Royale for the Nether Fortress. Nice. <laughs> Great job there, you guys. Great job there. Patting myself on the back, but I'm not bragging. <laughs> anyways, traveling back to camp and 122% projectiles. I don't even know what that means. How do you get a hundred over 100% projectiles hit? Does that mean I hit the same projectile multiple times, or uh, I guess maybe yeah, pierce? I bet I bet that's because of piercing, where it could, it could hit one projectile or multiple projectiles with one uh one arrow. That's probably how, huh? Two times I died, 100% chest open. Love seeing that. Then uh, let's see what's inside the obsidian chest. Hopefully something good. What's it going to be? Oh, whoa! What is that? The power shaker is a smashing good time. I don't know why I said smashing. <laughs> uh, though it may not be as fun as uh, for your enemies. What is that? Is that an upgraded uh, mace or something like that? What is that? When the power- oh wait, no, uh, uh, I thought it was a unique version of like the mace, but no, it's like a heckin' maraca or something like that. What is that? Oh, it's an art- oh, it's an artifact. Okay, I thought it was like an, a unique version of that, but obviously it's a heckin' artifact, but when the power shake- power shaker is activated, your next few melee attacks cause mobs to explode. Interesting, and it does 5,000 artifact damage whenever it explodes, I guess? Hold on, how's that actually work? Yeah, so- if- if I attack this guy over here while we still have the party shaker thing attacking, it only does it up to four. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. I must have mis misinterpreted that or something. But I don't know where that actual 5898 damage is from. Hold on. Let's wait until that goes out of cooldown. Does that apply whenever we attack or? 58. Oh, yeah, there it is. There. Oh, I guess I, just because of the second thing attacks so often. But boom, there's a 29, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, there's a 79, blah, blah, blah. Which I think we do more damage because of. Oh, no, no, no. I thought artifacts did more damage because of this thing. But no, that was the piglin armor, right? Yeah. So why does it do 7,000 something damage when it says 5898? I don't know. Maybe because the Void Seeker or Void Strike is kind of applying to that too? I don't know. Huh. Anyways, Mystery Merchant. Uh, 423 Enchanted Mobs out of 2,500. Golly. Then uh, over here. Did we defeat enough powerful mobs? I, I think that includes Endermen and Gas, right? Yeah, so we defeated, I think... Did we defeat any? Yeah, we defeated um, at least one Enderman. I remember that too, yeah. So we have to defeat three more of them. And then uh, we can actually get another slot over here. But with this soul lantern, the soul lantern summons a creature of bound souls who will fight by your side for a short period of time. Okay, so it sounds like a pet, but for like soul stuff. So honestly, it makes sense. A thousand? No, uh, am I going to use it? I, I think I, I think I'm going to spend that thousand. That's going to going to kind of incentivize me to actually use it. So let's use it right now. See how good that actually is. See what it actually does. There it goes. We have a little little. What is that? What what spawned in? Oh, look at that! It's a little ghost guy. Here, attack this thing for me. So he does 2,000 damage, and he has his own health bar there as well. So yeah, it makes sense. We have armor and stuff like that that benefits like pets. Where's that stuff at? Yeah, like this. Beast burst. Using a healing potion causes your explosion at your pet's location. is dealing damage to mobs around them. 6,000 up to 19. That, that's insane. That is insane right there, you guys. That in combination with the heckin' potion barrier, all that kind of stuff, that, that seems... Oh my gosh. Oh, well, yeah, that's on armor, so we can't have that in combination with both potion barrier because I just don't have it. Gravity pulse and then beast surge. So our pet, uh, when we use a health potion, our pet's attack and movement speed for 10 seconds gains uh, 50% up to 150%. So that's also interesting, too, especially because it does like 2,000 damage or whatever, right? Yeah, 22, uh, 29 summon damage. And he requires souls and gives us plus one soul gathering. And I guess he just lasts as long as he has a health bar. He doesn't, he doesn't like suck up souls whenever uh, he's summoned in. But what is he actually? Is he like a ghost? What is he? Like some weird fairy or something? I can't tell, because he's look, looking the other way. Look, come this way. He's got like a... Oh, he's kind of like me. He kind of looks like me. Look at that. It makes sense, because I'm kind of like a, a shadow face with like... Oh, wait, no, he despawned. Whoops. Man. <laughs> but we're both like shadow faces. I have red eyes. I think he had like blue or white eyes or something like that. So that's really cool. He kind of matches me. I wonder if uh, I had a different skin if he'd uh, have the same face or whatever. But either way, 
This recording has been going on for like an hour and a half. This is honestly going to be like two separate episodes. Oh, whoa, dark armor. Whoa. Oh, man, only two, uh, two enchants over here. It's, this is not the unique version, though, so kind of sucks. Dark armor made in the blackest depths of the fiery forge is worn by the Illager Royal Guard. I don't know why we never got that beforehand, huh? Must be relatively new, but we have multi-roll. We have lucky, whatever that is, where you just walk around and you get emerald. We have uh, the thing that boosts the damage that lightning attacks do, and then that one that like you lose like 60% of your health, so you do like more melee damage or whatever that is, right? Not crazy about those enchantments. I wish, I wish I had better enchantments and three enchantments too. But I guess we could do this and restock them. Let's do it. 100, that's not even that much. Let's do it. Boom. Nah. Nah, not crazy. Not crazy. We have flaming quiver. That's that's okay, but the, the, the what do you call it? I forgot what you call it. Uh, the, the harpoon thing. That, that's way better. I, I don't think it makes sense to do that, so yeah. Forget about that trash. What else do I want to spend this money on? And by the way, yeah, we have a uh, we have a lullup, so we can do the adventure hub, right? Yeah, there you go. 500 emeralds right there. Boom. And another 500, right? What? what? Hold on. Flame reward? Or is it this one? Oh, it's already clean. That's why. Okay. So we could have this boom thing if I, like, paid for the battle pass thing down here, which I'm not going to do. So, there you go. Yeah, I don't know if I'll end up... To oh, hey, a thousand emeralds if I level up again. So, uh, hey, uh, I guess we can look forward to that. Even more money to spend, right? Luxury merchant here. Thief armor. Nah, at least it has three enchantment slots, but nah. $400 for him to restock. Nah. Not crazy about that, honestly. And then mystery merchant here. Do I want to buy any... Uh, let's do this one right here. Random item. Oh, another whip. Level 108. Nah. We could restock him. Melee art. Let's do artifact. Oh, another power shaker. Eh, could have been better, but I'll pay another hundred for him to restock. So, there you go. let's see what the artifact is. Golem kit. Whoa! Iron golems have always protected the villagers of the overworld. Their numbers are dwindling as a result of the Art Illagers' war. So, what, do I spawn in a, an iron golem like pet? Hold on. You do! Oh my gosh! Achievement unlocked! A, a friend in need! I got that! Hold on, does that even show up on the recording? I don't know if it does for this game. But 2017 up to 2914 uh, summon damage. So we probably have some sort of like crazy heckin' combo or something like that, right? Iron Golem. Oh yeah, I just read that, yeah. Age me in battle, yeah. So between this and the soul thing, which even though that does... Eh, this this could do more damage. I think I'm gonna keep the Iron Golem and I think he has a bigger health bar too. Which is crazy, but he's so slow, so I don't know. I do like the Iron Golem. I love this second iron guy. I really wish I could test out how much damage he does and like combo attacks and all that kind of stuff. I bet this I bet his combo attack is whenever he uses both arms to kind of push you up in the air, and that's why he does uh that's that's when he does like 2900 damage or something like that, right? But man, this lightning rod was so good during this level, getting rid of those blade spawners, all that kind of stuff. Spin blade, you guys saw how good that was as well. And the uh the soul healer thing, that was really good as well. You should definitely use that more often. Maybe I'll switch out to that like mid uh like in the middle of a map whenever I'm like low on health and have like a potion on cooldown or something like that, and I have souls to spare, so yeah, definitely want to kind of keep that kind of bookmarked in our mind to kind of switch over to, but yeah, for right now, we had a pretty successful uh, episode today, you guys, taking on the final level here of the Nether Fortress. Now, I don't think this is going to be the end of the Flames of the Nether DLC just yet. I, I guess we could have like one or two bonus episodes of me, like I said last time, or like two episodes, three episodes ago, by now. <laughs> I do want to try out this, uh, this tower, challenge tower thing over here, try this out, see what it's all about. Tower changes in two days. That's probably going to be different by the time I record another episode. And it looks like my Iron Golem is actually able to help me out here, which is kind of cool. <laughs> but uh, kind of want to try out that as well as what is that thing down there? I don't know if I could pull it up uh, over here. Whoops. This. Uh, yeah, Ancient Hunt. I should. I definitely need to try this thing out because I haven't done anything with the heck an Ancient Hunt just yet. You guys, so golly. Definitely want to try and make a little, prog little bit of progress there. And of course, the Blacksmith, he's at one out of three because we only did uh, one level so far. But either way, I guess I'll just end off the video right here. Read you guys' comments, suggestions, all that kind of stuff. And then next time we come back, I guess we'll uh, test out the Battle Tower, whatever that thing's called over there as well as that Ancient Hunt. And then I guess we'll end off the Flames of the Nether DLC and start looking forward to the next DLC. And then we could have a poll and all that kind of stuff for you guys, just like uh, we have previously. So we could have the, uh, the whatever this underwater one was <laughs> as well as what was it? Was it this one? I think this is the only other DLC, was there? I feel like there's another one as well. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking about this one right here, and we just finished it up, so... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything else in that Island Realms. Yeah, we finished all these up. Yeah, there's nothing else here, except for, of course, the other... Whatever this Depths thing was, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot the actual name of it, but... Uh, yeah, and then, of course, Daily Trials and stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll continue doing those. 
just to kind of get to more progress with that uh, blacksmith. But anyways, I guess I'll just end off the video right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Minecraft Dungeons Flames of the Nether DLC comes out where we're going to be trying out this tower over here and maybe uh, the Ancient Hunt or something like that too. I definitely have to read you guys the comments and suggestions and all that kind of stuff about what we're going to be doing for the rest of this uh, DLC now that we actually finish up all the maps over here. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Dungeons Flames of the Nether DLC. Oh, bye there.